Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and today I'm going to show you something really disturbing in my opinion, it's really disturbing but it's not this time about what I, I, I used to talk but let's let's read this article from the World Bank Blocks organization man expiring money part one by Biagio Bosoni and Ahmed Faragala. Well, let's check out that guy's letter. So, in October 2020, Shenzhen's Lo Loho, uh, that's some Chinese, uh, yeah, district announced the distribution of 10 million digital yuan. 200 digital yuan, USD $30 to about 50,000 people. Lucky winners could spend their money at designated shops in Lohu between October 12, 12th sorry, and 18, 2020. A similar announcement happened in Shenzhen, where registered citizens will receive their money on January 11, 2021 and will need to spend it before January 17, 21. So, yeah, spending money is like when you have one of those coupons or just promotion codes or uh, one of those promotions when it do, don't inve you don't invest like something, a certain amount of money, uh, you will lose it and you will miss the opportunity. But this is to another level. They are talking about money, yes. really, not like some promotion, some coupon, like to to go to the store or some or something like that. We are talking about money. The money you it is difficult for you to earn, and they want a cashless society. Spiring money, one whose values falls to zero after a specific date, is a potential monetary pol policy tool. Yeah, it is. Programmability. <laughs> Shit. I mean, when you go to uh, one of those big, uh, small or stores that have like you buy something you have like some money from your own so you could use it but you have a spare date so it's not something new but they are taking so seriously to control you and they want to control the money that's how they are going to control you we and this is a thing so i'm going to continue reading a technical feature made possible by digitalization yeah, I know. Can accelerate decisions to spend it, making it a very effective means for simulating consumption. This could be very useful for central banks. Look how condescending to the people. Are. Uh, this is very useful. Yeah, not for the people, you stupid shit. For central banks and governments distributing aid to people during severe recessions or events like pandemics or calamities, when higher uncertainty makes people spend less. So Joe Biden destroying the economy of the U.S. and then making decisions to fuck the economy of the entire world, and you are making this an option for these governments, these tyranny governments to not only control their people, screw them and over, forcing to be poor, honestly, they are, you are forcing them to be poor uh, all while you keep spending money like sending it to Ukraine to <laughs> Afghanistan, to the Taliban, I'm not going to forget that Ah, your money laundering in chain in China, China. <laughs> ah, this is a joke. Uh, this is a joke that it doesn't make me laugh. 
honestly, I'm just nervously laughing because they they want this for everyone in the world. Programmable money is more money. Go fuck yourself, honestly. <laughs> Features of programmable money go beyond expiration. Digital money can be programmed for a predefined purpose, e.g. transfer of ownership, transfer of value. Yeah, we have that with the apps. No, honestly, there is already there. But imagine you have money in the bank and you access through your app. You need it just because they made it so digital now that you need to use it for lending money, your money, to maybe paying services, buying something, whatever switch in your life. But the thing is, imagine all your funds that you work it so hard to get it through the course of the years. Having an expression that like, oh sorry, you have like maybe one million pesos or five hundred thousand dollars or maybe ten million Brazilian shackles. You lose it because they are going to put it an expression that like, oh yeah, we decided to put this. I know you g gave us your money. And yeah, you are going to use it through your bank, so it's already not yours. And I'm going to put an expression there because it suits me so well to make you use it. And don't be tied to you, the average Joe, the people from below. This is insane. And look, Dutch Bank. Wait, Deutsche Bank. This is the one that collapsed, like Silicon Valley Bank, if I'm not mistaken. Man, after after the pandemic, they forced everyone to be locked down, and then taking the devil spoke, the Pfizer devil spoke, and not only that, they are pushing it for more. Restrictions to undermine the freedoms from every single person in the world. 1984. <laughs> this is a document from the uh, Deutschland Bank. Motivation. As digitalization increases, trading process, business models, and workflows are changing. Yeah, uh, they're changing, but you're not going to put that shit in my money. Maybe that's why they destroyed crypto. Maybe that's why BlackRock destroyed crypto, because that's what people say. That maybe that's what they want, because they want to control everything. And the governments, they're using it, honestly. And at this point, it's not a team fall hide conspiracy. They are not making it. Sota el movement see if I'm, I'm if you know what I'm saying. So let's see who are these guys. Ahmed Faragala, senior financial sector specialist, World Bank. Why is like when they are one gun fucking soy boy from India mixed with California? Honestly. It happened with Twitter, and then now it's happening with YouTube. Like, what is the deal? It's like, you're telling me that, that country turned evil, honestly. <laughs> and then you have Biagio Bosoni, a senior advisor of the international organizations and consultant to government agencies and financial companies. Yeah, they are just in Justice League. Ah, sh shit, no, this is not going to let me for now watching that tweet. But there you have it. Cashless society with inspiration money and they are telling you, oh, it's a, it's a good thing. You will own nothing and you will be happy. 
living in a pod while we have our fancy cars because we're pushing electric cars to even control you more. Because that's the thing. Electric cars are just a, a environmental hazard. They are just building it because the computers they have is so easily to program the car to make you control your life.